The Original Gospel from Jesus and His Apostles After years in your school, church, temple, or mosque, you have perhaps never read nor heard the gospel that Jesus commanded and that his apostles announced. This video draws upon the words of Jesus and of his apostles Peter and Paul. Here is the gospel as Jesus commanded it after he returned from death to life. These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending the promise of the Father upon you. In the New Testament part of the Holy Bible, the main points of Jesus' gospel appear consistently in the message that his apostles preached and wrote. We suggest that you find and read the following verses in whatever edition of the Bible you may possess. From these texts, we can draw out twelve great themes as well as many historical facts. First, the themes. 1. Prophets had written about Jesus in the Holy Scriptures. 2. God attested to Jesus by giving him divine power. 3. Jesus is the promised Messiah, the only Savior. 4. God anointed Jesus with his Holy Spirit. 5. God sent Jesus to be crucified and to die because of our sins. 6. God raised Jesus from death to life on the third day. 7. Jesus bodily appeared to numerous eyewitnesses. 8. Eyewitnesses have testified to all these things. 9. We human beings commit sins and are deceived by the devil. 10. God commands that everyone repent and believe in Jesus. 11. God will forgive us, give us his Holy Spirit, and save us forever. 12. This message of eternal life must go to every ethnic community. The truth of the gospel message is supported by two lines of evidence. First, written accounts of eyewitnesses who experienced the miracles, teaching, death, resurrection, and appearances of Jesus. Second, personal experience of joy and love after receiving the promised Holy Spirit upon repentance, faith in Christ, and baptism. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit.